Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Boyce, just comes to you with some goldy goodness out of the map Ohana. Spying down here in the bottom right hand corner, we do have KK Mon as the red Terran, up here in the top left hand corner, we do have his opponent Protostitute as the blue Protoss. Now of course Protostitute is the man that set up the very, very wonderful forum cup showcase action matches things. So, congratulations to him. I would just like to thank him again, because those were actually really well done. And as soon as he made those, like nine other events that were exactly the same came up onto the forums. And I was like, huh, I wonder who they're trying to copy. They're not very stealthy. Because it was literally like, the next day it was like, official forum, uh, official forum game league. And I was like, huh, interesting. I wonder where they got that idea. And, you know, that, that happens a lot on the StarCraft 2 forums, like a lot, a lot on the StarCraft 2 forums is that you'll see somebody come up with an idea that's really, really well done and really, really well uh, created and well received by everyone. And then instantly there's going to be like four copies of it, like one of which will do okay, not as good as the original, but okay. And then three of which will tank and one of which will probably end with a guy cursing somebody up. So if you guys want to go find those threads and look for all of those things, Go ahead, because I'm pretty sure it happened. And uh, also, just because there's nothing all too interesting happening in this game quite yet, I would just like to bring up that I just looked at my uh, YouTube demo YouTube view demographic things, because they have this really, really almost sketchy way that I can like look at where all of you people that watch my videos live, and what age you are, and what sex you are, and surprise, surprise, it's 100% male. But uh, interestingly enough, I am pretty big in the 55 to 64 demographic. It's actually my highest number of viewers. So, I don't know who you people are, but hey, what's up? You know? It's... <laughs> that, that, was, that came as a bit of a surprise to me. I figured those people would not be watching, video, watching young people yell at video games. Because, you know, this... this I, I, I don't, I don't want to insult them, but... 55 to 64 are old. And I probably just lost every one of those viewers. So goodbye, 26.4% of my audience. Uh, you know, it was it was nice having you along for just about as long as I think I could physically keep you before I insulted you right out of here. It was, uh, it was a good trip. I was very entertained. It looks like we do have the CC first coming out from KK Mon along with two racks. So we're going to see a little bit of a Marine heavy play coming out here. And this is pretty ballsy. I mean, it's not amazingly yeah, I don't know it's interesting it's not amazingly interesting just because he's against a Protoss player and Protoss players on Ohana don't have a whole lot they can do as far as pressure goes so it's kind of almost standard to go for this very early CC first and what the hell what is you uh, Protoss the two this isn't heart of the swarm um, usually building a stargate is a heart of the swarm type thing you don't you don't do it in Wings of Liberty, because I don't know if you know this, but unless you're playing against the Zerg player, and even if you are playing against the Zerg player, Stargate units kind of suck. They're not they're not really that amazing, because you see, you're just going to have bunkers with Marines in them, primarily. Or you're just going to have Marines, and all of your units are going to die, because you're playing against the Terran player. And Marines deal like 90 bajillion DPS, approximately. I haven't actually done out the math. Um, but I'll, I'll have a proof on it later this month of how much DPS Marines do. Um, it would appear the... Oh. I, I need to... There's a fleet beacon. Yep, that is a... Uh, that's a fleet beacon. At the 5 minute 45 second mark. And I would also like to point out... This is a 1v1. This guy isn't boisterous. And his partner is in Kadoink. Because this is something that I would do. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. The carry rush is a very, very legitimate strat in 2v2s. You just really need to know how to pull it off. And Protostitute, I have to give it to you. You're doing it quite well. Uh, you really knew how to do it. You just build zealots so that you don't waste any gas. And then you just crank out those carriers ASAP. However, the issue is that he actually does not have a teammate to just funnel resources from. Because that's the important part of the strategy, is you need to steal resources from a teammate. That's that's the key part. And they also need to be able to keep you alive until, you know, you get four carriers up and you can actually get uh, 
get interceptors up. But, you know, it, it'll work. It's all good. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, Protostitute. I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure your carrier first will work out quite well versus the mass marine. You know, the six racks marine. I heard carriers are pretty good against them. <sighs> Alright, well it looks like we are going to have three gateways coming down for Protoss. So he's going to be going for a little bit of a gateway ball. I wouldn't be surprised if it was literally just zealots. Like literally just straight zealots. He only built zealots. Because let's be honest, he went carrier first. It could it could go anywhere from here. I I really don't know. I don't. Oh, it looks like he's actually gonna build a sentry. Interesting enough, considering the fact that sentries are extremely heavy gas. And guess what else is extremely heavy gas? Carriers. Can you chrono boost the carrier and have it build interceptors faster? Somebody needs to do that. Try to chrono boost the carrier. I'm not actually sure if it's possible, but that would be hilarious. It's, it just says structure, so I don't think you can chrono boost a unit. But carriers would be able to be a little bit better if you could chrono boost them. Not a whole lot better because, you know, you're wasting chrono boosts. But just a little. Just a teensy, teensy pinch better uh, if you could chrono boost out those interceptors. It looks like we do have the marine force now moving out across the center of the map. Now, of course, the big thing for Protostitute here that might actually help him win the game is the fact that these marines don't have stim and they don't have combat shield. And they're basically just pussies running out onto the battlefield that can get destroyed by carriers. Because uh, carriers actually do do a reasonable amount of damage, but it looks like the carrier is pulling back. That's not exactly where it wants to go. And it looks like here comes the attack from the Protoss player. <laughs> oh god, the carrier. Go carrier, go. Those interceptors without the, gravitic, without the Gravitron catapult, they don't actually launch out all that fast. It looks like the carrier is being targeted down by the Marine Force, but this is actually giving the Zelts plenty of time to just absolutely rip and tear away at all of the units, and we see a bulk of the Marine Force is going down, and he should really get Gravitron Catapult, because Gravitron Catapult actually makes his carriers somewhat useful. Because I'm not sure if you saw how slow those interceptors were launching out, but basically, he got the 8th interceptor out when he was like halfway dead. You know, as you want to do. You want to be fully attacking at your full potential when you're about halfway dead. Alright, well it looks like the interceptors are taking a little bit of damage. We saw one of them go down in an interesting force field. Not the best, not the worst. Um, but definitely interesting going down there. And we see some actually pretty good positioning coming out from Protostitute. I'm surprised that KK Mon has not taken the uh, Zelnaga Tower at this point. Because the Zelnaga Tower is what would really help him out in this scenario. Um, but it looks like Protostitute is going to be moving across the map and dropping down a proxy pylon. So we are going to see lots of carriers, lots of zealots, lots of proxy pylons, lots of marines. And oh god, I can't believe this game is actually happening. Because it really shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. If you go mass marine against carrier, you shouldn't really have an issue. You should just attack, or at least scout and see that he ha doesn't have a natural and be like, huh, I should probably kill him. Or tech. One or the other. But instead, you know, we have KK Mon just sitting right on top of marines. No tech lab attachments even down yet. He does have the engineering bay up, but that's probably just about just for the missile turrets. And this is a lot of marines. Sadly, marines take a lot of damage. And there is a beautiful force field coming out. And that's going to be a lot of marines dying. They are trying to stutter step as best as they can. Which actually, his stutter stepping is not that bad. He does manage to take out the bulk of the uh, zealot force for actually a reasonably cost efficient trade. However, honestly, with three carriers, somehow. I mean, he has three freaking carriers. I still don't understand that at all. I'm not quite sure what his plan is for winning this game, especially because he didn't pull off enough SCVs to defend that bunker. And by not enough, I mean he did not pull off any SCVs at all. It looks like he has a little bit of sniping action going down on the carriers, but it's just not going to be enough. And oh my god, I think Protostitute might have won this game with mass care, with just carrier rushes. All right, well, that is a uh, that's that's a strategy, Protostitute. I'm not going to say it's a good strategy. I'm also not going to say it's a bad strategy. But it's definitely a strategy that you can use in StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. You can definitely carry your rush. Surprise KK Mon hasn't actually stepped out of this, because as soon as you kinda have your uh, as soon as you have your production camps as a Terran player, you're basically done. There's not a whole lot that you can do. But I mean I can kinda see why he didn't want to finish off the best of three. And I am doing this just as a regular game instead of a form show cat showcase game because uh, KK Mon only played the first game of a best of three, which is understandable now because I would not want to continue a best of three after this happened to me. Would not want to do it. Not at all.
because that was there would be quite a bit of egg on my face after a game like this happened. So anyway, guys, if you want your games commentated, you can send them on into boisterous.sc2 at gmail.com. And also, if you'd like to watch any other boisterous action, you can head over to youtube.com slash user slash boisterous.sc2. I would like to thank you all for watching this video, and this is Boisterous signing out.